Okay, so I want to show you one of my magical colors. Actually, it's not nothing magic about it, but it's a color that I guarantee you that most modelers on average do not even think of using for scenery. This is flesh, to me a flesh, okay? The label's off because I soak all my bottles. You want to clean them but and reuse them, but flesh, right? It's not just for figurines. It's incredible what, when you put it over a dark color like this, it has that mauve in it. Remember, you know, I talked about that earlier. There's a mauve filter in life when you look at things. You don't know it's there, but it is there. It's a kind of a, a equalizing kind of shade or filter of light that just, you can see it mostly just before dusk, but it really, uh, it's not gray, it's not tan, it's not earth, it's not buff. It just has a, um, a shade to it that's just really, really nice. And furthermore, if you use it really light on your airbrush, it just highlights like little rivets, tie plates and everything. It looks far better live. You know, it doesn't look too bad, I guess, here, but I use it to pick out ties, you know, at different strengths, because I can put a dry pigment wash or dusting over it later. But, you know, here, I'll put a really strong one for you. See, then it looks more like flesh there. But if you use it really lightly, it's just a beautiful dry brushing with the airbrush, but a highlight color. Flesh, flat flesh by Tamiya. Okay. Yeah.